Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you some fantastic dupes for the CeraVe cleansers. Now, I know CeraVe cleansers are holy grails for so many of you guys out there, and they do work really, really well. However, recently, Revolution Skincare have just launched a full range. Honestly, I'm surprised they could get away with this because they are literal like-for-like -like dupes to the CeraVe cleansers. However, unlike CeraVe, Revolution Skincare is still a small-scale indie brand. They're also entirely cruelty-free. They offer vegan skincare options, and more importantly, they're easily accessible. I know it's becoming increasingly difficult to get your hands on CeraVe products. They are so, so popular. It's just always the case. You walk into the drugstore and the shelves are empty. You don't have that same problem with Revolution Skincare. However, are the products actually just as good? We're going to put them through their paces and share all in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's talk dupes for CeraVe cleansers. And before we get into this video, I always like to reiterate that when it comes to skincare, use what works for you. You might be the ultimate CeraVe fangirl, and honestly, that's absolutely fine. If their products are your ride or die favorites, then keep on using them if they work for you. The purpose of these dupes videos is just to offer some alternatives, get that conversation going. I know there's a lot of people out there that are trying to move away from CeraVe. Either it's those stock issues which are preventing you getting your hands on your favorites, and you're looking for something that's more reliably available. Or maybe you're looking for cruelty free alternatives. It frustrates me that in 2022, CeraVe is still reliant on animal testing. I just feel brands should be moving past that. But this isn't the case with CeraVe. But Revolution Skincare do offer entirely cruelty-free collections. Finally, it's nice to shop with a bit of a small scale brand. Now, Revolution Skincare are big. Don't get me wrong. They had like a tiny indie brand. But when you compare it to the L'Oreal group that owns CeraVe, a lot of people don't feel particularly comfortable, you know, lining the pockets of L'Oreal executives with their hard-earned cash. And so hopefully, these are just dupes which might just help you get around all of that. Of course, like I said, it all comes down to personal preference, the brands that you want to support and also the ones that work well for your skin type. So, sound off in the comment section below with what your thoughts are in terms of CeraVe, Revolution Skincare and anything mentioned in today's video. Also, if you've got any other dupes you want to sound off about, let me know because I love, love, love to hear them. With all that being said, whatever your thoughts are on CeraVe, hopefully you'll also want to reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. I love to get the message out there that dupes do exist. We don't have to stick with one brand there's plenty of alternatives and choice in the market by giving the video a thumbs up and a like it's just one small way of helping me to achieve that so from the bottom of my heart thank you so so much now, with all that being said, shall we cut the waffle and just talk some of these dupes? And first up, we're talking this product, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. So this product is probably the best selling of all the CeraVe cleansers. And lots of people have it as their holy grail because it doesn't strip and dry the skin like some foaming cleansers will. It does the job, gets rid of the dirt, the debris, the SPF, because it hasn't got a foaming texture to it. It's less harsh and stripping than some other cleansers on the market. The Revolution Skincare Hydrating Cleanser, honestly, is like, like you'll see from that image, the packaging is pretty much the same. The ingredient profile is almost identical, which is why I say struggle to understand how they've actually got away from this. In terms of the price point, so CeraVe here in the UK and Europe is much more expensive than it is in the North American market. So the Dr Revolution Skincare product is much cheaper here in the UK than CeraVe. This probably isn't going to be the case in the North American market, where I'd say the price point is probably more comparable. I have left links in the description box below below to the CeraVe and the Revolution skincare products. So you can click on them and work out what the price point is going to be where in the world you live. Because I do think geography is going to play a big part in that. The Revolution skincare hydrating cleanser is the same size, same amount of product as with the CeraVe. Very similar packaging. There's a couple of key differences though. First and foremost, it's got five ceramides in as opposed to the three that you'll see in the CeraVe. If you love your ceramides, this is definitely a tick in the box and a ding, 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 a nice addition to the product. I do think this elevates it above CeraVe slightly, but I am a little bit sceptical about the value that a ceramide will actually provide in a cleanser. You know, a cleanser sits on the skin for like 60 seconds tops and you rinse it down the sink. Ceramides need to be left on the skin to actually give meaningful benefit throughout the day. So I think, you know, whether there's three ceramides in something or five, it's probably not going to make the massive amount of difference. But if you like your ceramide fix and the reason you're reaching for the CeraVe cleanser is for them, then I actually think you'd be more impressed with the Revolution Skincare equivalent. The Revolution Skincare one also has a score or palmitate, which is a vitamin C derivative in it. This, I'm not a huge fan of, if I'm totally honest. It's my least favorite of all the vitamin C derivatives because the science out there doesn't show it penetrates their skin particularly well. It doesn't have a lot of benefits. However, nowhere on any of the marketing does Revolution Skincare say it contains vitamin C. So this, I think, is just there amongst the other ingredients. They're not making a big thing of it. It's probably not going to make it better or worse. It's just one of those ingredients that's not in the CeraVe but is in the Revolution Skincare. But the extra ceramides and the addition of the ascorbyl 
palmitate are the only two differences you'll see in that formulation. In terms of the texture, both don't foam, which again is great if you're looking for something super gentle, effective, but won't strip and dry the skin. I'd say that of the two textures, the Revolution Skincare Hydrating Cleanser has a slightly nicer consistency. It's a little bit more bouncy than the CeraVe one. I feel it slips onto the skin that little bit better. They both rinse off without a trace and give the equally effective cleanse. So it's really just all dependent. I would say if you're looking for a really nice, affordable, cruelty-free dupe for a more smaller scale, non-multinational corporation owned brand, then I'd definitely reach for the Revolution Skincare Hydrating Cleanser over this one. Same great benefits without the animal testing. And I think with some additional ceramides, if that's your preference. Now let's move on to the CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. So this goes on in a beautiful, nice, creamy texture and then foams up, it lathers to do a really effective cleanse. This is one of the newer launches from CeraVe, at least here in the UK. And again, I thought it was an okay cleanser. It's definitely more stripping than the hydrating cleanser, but again, I think that's kind of the point of it. And it's nice to have that choice when it comes to cleansers and the ones that you reach for. The equivalent of Revolution Skincare, which is also called, called their foaming cleanser, is designed to be very, very similar. As I said, it's got exactly the same ingredient profile, which is gonna be a theme throughout this video. Once again, it does have some additional ceramides. So you've got the five ceramides as opposed to the three. I won't go over all that again, but it depends whether you think they're actually gonna add any value in terms of a cleanser. It's also got that ascorbate palmitate in there again, which, you know what, I think we can just discount that. It's not adding anything, it's not taking anything away, it's kind of just there. Beyond that, very, very similar. Now, I do think they've got different quantities of the different surfactants within this product. Surfactants are the things that give the lather, give the effective cleanse. The reason I can tell that there's a difference in terms of the concentrations is the Revolution Skincare one is a lot more foaming than the CeraVe one. As a result, it is slightly more drying on the skin. So I'd say, if like me, you're super oily and acne prone and you want to reach for a foaming cleanser that kind of does take away some of those excess oils and a little bit of stripping and drying to the skin isn't always a bad thing especially if you've got my skin type then I think the Revolution skincare one is preferable. If you want the sensation of a foaming cleanser but you are a little bit wary about the drying surfactants I'd probably still reach for the CeraVe one which is just slightly less stripping on the skin. Overall I'd say if you're actually that worried about the skin being stripped and dried you're probably better off with the hydrating cleansers anyway. This probably isn't the one for you and so for oily acne prone skin I'd say all things been equal I probably will continue to reach for the Revolution skincare one over the CeraVe one. They're very similar but I'd say there's a reason you're reaching for a foaming cleanser. You want the foam so why not go for the one that delivers the maximum foam but still a really effective cleanse without leaving you feeling too stripped dried or your skin too tight. Both are actually great in terms of their performance exactly the same ingredient profile so it all comes down to personal preference but I'm really proud to be able to share this with you because I think if you're stuck on the CeraVe cream to foam cleanser. You love it, but you want a cruelty-free alternative, the Revolution Skincare have you covered. Now, the third and final cleanser in the Revolution Skincare collection is the smoothing cleanser. This is formulated with salicylic acid and designed to mimic or match like for like the CeraVe Renewing Cleanser. Now this can be a little bit confusing because the CeraVe Renewing Cleanser is actually called different things in different countries. Some people call it the salicylic acid cleanser, it's the Renewing Cleanser. They also do one the Acne Control Cleanser which seems to be exactly the same. I'm a little bit confused but basically this Revolution Skincare one is designed to mimic the same outcomes as the salicylic acid based cleansers from CeraVe. Honestly, this is my favorite of all of them. Fantastic as a body wash. If you suffer from KP, you've got the old chicken skin on the backs of the arms, tops of the thighs, maybe you've got a little chest or back knee, this will be a fantastic addition to your shower routine. It works beautifully well on the face as well. It's exactly the same ingredients as with the CeraVe Renewing Cleanser. So again, a really great like for like, cruelty free, slightly more affordable here in the UK dupe. I'd say when used side by side, I got better performance in terms of exfoliation from the Revolution Skincare one. And whilst they have the exact same ingredients, the pH of the one from Revolution Skincare is slightly lower than the CeraVe one, which again, I think just gives a slightly better exfoliation. And I think will help tackle breakouts and texture on the skin that little bit more effectively. Both are really, really good, but ultimately neither of them have been impressive enough to make me want to move away from my Inkillis Salicylic Acid Cleanser, which honestly, having used it for the past three years, is just everything I need. Deals with texture on the body like that. Great for the skin. If you use it as your cleanser on your face and then follow with like vitamin C's, they'll just penetrate that a little bit better. It's just an all round holy grail for me. Both the CeraVe and the Revolution Skincare one are great in terms of a salicylic acid wash, but the Inkillist still has my heart and that's the one that I'll be reaching for time and time again. Hopefully throughout this little rundown of cleansers and their dupes, you'll be able to see that if you're looking for a cruelty free alternative to CeraVe, just buy from 
Revolution Skincare. You're getting basically the exact same ingredient profile, very similar packaging, same volume of product at a very, very similar price point. Again, I am surprised that they actually got away with this because I love a good dupe, but I look and think this is definitely bordering on the copycat. And whilst normally I wouldn't support that, the fact that CeraVe continue to test on animals and say they have to because of various markets, I'm like, no, I'm over that. Actually, it's time that we got a cruelty-free copycat brand, one that puts, you know, the quality of the product above animal testing. And this to me is what Revolution Skincare do. I know Revolution Skincare fangirl. I think some of their products are amazing, as with these cleansers. I think some of them are total fails as well. You've got to be a little bit selective from the brand. But you know what? This is the same with all skincare brands. Every brand will have its ding, 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 holy grails, and it's wah, 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 total fails. When it comes to cleansers, I think Revolution Skincare have knocked it out of the park. And honestly, you've been duped, CeraVe, because these are fantastic, fantastic products. I would love it, love it, love it if you'd let me know what your thoughts, feelings, and opinions are on these cleansers. Are you tempted to give them a go? Move away from your holy grail, CeraVe, or are you still the ultimate CeraVe fangirl? Are you going to stick with the brand? I feel like I say, it's always down to what works well for you and your skin, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.